Hey people, you're welcome to my YouTube channel Jam Vibes. Kolani has finally exposed home affairs lady who is definitely messing with Nigerian drug dealers in order to make herself so much money. Make sure to watch this video right up to the end because I'm here to give you all some very pertinent and disturbing updates as to what happened last night on Sisoktola. Before I give you all these details, do also subscribe to my channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit onto my post notification bell. A South African woman who works for the Department of Home Affairs has confessed to helping foreigners obtain South African ID documents, including passports. The woman, who has not been identified, made a confession during an episode of the Moja Love reality show Sisoktola. In the episode, the woman was confronted by a man who accused her for helping his ex-girlfriend obtain a South African ID card illegally. The woman admitted to the allegations, saying that she had been helping foreigners obtain ID documents for several years. The woman's confession has sparked outrage in South Africa, with many people calling for her to be arrested and fired from her job. The Department of Home Affairs has said that it is investigating the matter and that the woman will face the full force of the law. Of course, Herman M. went ahead to post on Twitter and I quote, She must be arrested, dirty home affairs officer, hashtag Sisoktola. In addition, the woman's confession is a reminder of the challenges that South Africa faces in terms of illegal immigration. South Africa is a popular destination for immigrants, many of whom came from neighboring countries in search of work and a better life. However, some immigrants enter South Africa illegally, and these can pose a security risk to the country. The Department of Home Affairs is working to crack down on illegal immigration, but it is a difficult task. The country's borders are long and porous, and it is difficult to control who enters and leaves the country. The department is also facing a shortage of staff, which makes it even more difficult to enforce immigration laws. It is a very sad situation already all over South Africa. The woman's confession is also a wake-up call for South Africa, as it shows that the country's immigration system is under strain, and that more needs to be done to protect the country from illegal immigration. I really don't want to be so judgmental about all of this already, and it is a very sad one for South Africans. One of these persons actually had this to say, and I quote, She is lucky she lives in South Africa. Other countries she was going to be six feet under. I am speechless and wow, our beloved country, what is going on with South Africa? Our country is sold by our own sisters and brothers in uniform. Our problems are in government institutions and departments. We are not winning this battle anytime soon. Without judging, guys, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this already. Do you actually believe that something can actually be done as soon as possible in order to stop all these negative and illicit activities in South Africa? I love you all dearly and I'm going to be reading you all in the comment section.